In Activity 12, Circuit Puzzles, students apply their understanding of open and closed circuits in an effort to solve electric puzzles. They first construct a circuit tester, and then use a circuit tester to determine the location of hidden conductors in circuit puzzles. Finally, students design and decipher circuit puzzles. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 12, Batteries, Battery Holders, Number 48 Flashlight Bulbs, Bulb Holders, Electrical Clips, Paper Clips, 15 centimeter Insulated Copper Wire Pieces, Aluminum Foil, Circuit Folders, and Masking Tape. You will also need to provide a pair of scissors. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 12 for each student and cut three or four one centimeter by 13 centimeter strips of aluminum foil for each team. Then, construct one puzzle for each team. Try to make as many different designs as possible. To make a puzzle, place the printed side of the circuit folder down and fold the circuit section over the center section. Then cover one or more black circles on the circuit section with strips of aluminum foil and tape the foil in place. Do not cover the black circles with tape or allow any foil pieces to touch each other. Then, fold the cover over the circuit section and secure three sides with paper clips. The foil is visible through some or all of the holes, depending on your design. Each team of two will need one battery, one battery holder, two electrical clips, one bulb, one bulb holder, three pieces of insulated copper wire, one prepared circuit puzzle, a blank circuit folder, several strips of aluminum foil, three paper clips, and access to the roll of masking tape. To begin the activity, lead a discussion by switching the overhead lights in the classroom off and on. Ask students, when I turn the switch on and off, how do I know if a conductor connects the switch and the lights? Students should know that the lights going off and on is evidence that there are conductors connecting the switch and the lights, as it is the switch's function to turn the lights on and off. Hold up one of the puzzle cards and explain that there are conductors hidden below the cover card and that these conductors connect certain holes. Ask students, how can we tell which holes are connected by a conductor without opening the card? Students may suggest that connecting two holes with two wires from a circuit that has a bulb in it could help them determine which two holes are connected by a conductor. For instance, if the bulb lights when a wire is placed on each hole, the circuit formed is closed and the holes must be connected by a conductor. If the bulb does not light, then the circuit formed is not closed. Therefore, the holes must not be connected by a conductor. Inform the class that each team will then construct their own circuit puzzle, exchange it with one made by another team, and test it to determine which holes are connected by conductors in the hidden circuit. Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 12 to each student and the materials to each team. Make sure to have masking tape available to all teams. Guide teams to construct a tester and use it to examine their prepared circuit puzzle. Remind students to record which holes they think are connected by a conductor. As the testing of each prepared circuit puzzle is completed, have students remove the paper clips from the puzzle to see if they correctly determined which holes were connected by conductors. Instruct teams to exchange circuit puzzles until each team has tested each puzzle. Next, Encourage each team to use the materials, make one circuit puzzle of their own design, and test the puzzle. Explain that the tape is used so that one piece of foil can pass over or under other pieces of foil without making contact. Again, instruct teams to exchange puzzles until each team has tested every puzzle. Remind them to record the results of the tests on their activity sheets. Lead a class discussion of their results and encourage students to explain how their circuits work. Students should articulate that when two holes are connected by aluminum foil and are touched by the circuit ends, the circuit closes and the current flows from the battery through the wire, across the aluminum foil, into the other wire, through the bulb, and finally to the other side of the battery. As a result, the bulb lights. Finally, ask students, how is the circuit tester used to determine the presence of a hidden conductor? What is the purpose of the bulb in the circuit tester? Students should respond that a circuit tester with a bulb can be connected to two points. If the bulb glows, the two points are in fact connected. If the bulb does not glow, the points are not connected. To conclude the activity, have students return all batteries, battery holders, electrical clips, bulbs, bulb holders, and wires to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.